Member statements. The Honourable Member for Gimli. Madam Speaker, today I would like to take a few minutes to recognize the excellent work that Lions Clubs across Manitoba do. With over 75 chapters and over 1,500 members in Manitoba, this organization is an important part of our provincial landscape. As a Lion Club member myself, I can personally attest to the hard work and dedication to our community that our groups exhibit. They provide numerous benefits and services to our various communities, including providing guide dogs at no cost to Canadians with disabilities. Madam Speaker, these clubs also work to help children with hearing disabilities and provide eye, eye tissue for both surgical transplantation and medical research. As well, one of the most important aspects of the work is supporting youth through scholarships, exchanges and youth development programs. The Lions Club International Foundation, which Manitoba Lions Clubs are a part of and support, engage in important causes such as providing disaster relief for communities through grants, assisting in humanitarian needs around the world, and working to make eye care accessible to those who need it. I would like to also take a moment to acknowledge the fact that globally, through the Centennial Service Challenge, which is an initiative that celebrates the Lions' 100 years of service with service, we have together just reached the milestone of helping 100 million around the world. Madam Speaker, today we are joined by Lions Club's representatives from the following branches in Manitoba, Winnipeg Beach to Otter Lakeside, Riverside, Shoal Lake, Winnipeg West, East Kildonan, Winnipeg South, St. Anne, Winnipeg Mahdi, West St. Paul, Stonewall and District, Crystal City, Brandon Wheat City, Bozizer, Rapid City Area, East St. Paul, Hinawa, and Minnedosa. I'd like to ask my fellow Legislative uh, Assembly members to join me in congratulating them and the club as a whole for all their service to this great province. Thank you.